to go through these rather quicker now. Um, boundness. Boundness basically sees, guys, if you have an absolute minimum, the graph can't go any lower. Would you guys agree? This graph is not going to go any lower. There's really no reason for us to believe that that graph's going to go lower than that absolute minimum. Would you guys agree? So guess what? This is called bounded below. Basically, what bounded below means is there is a restriction on how low that graph can go. It's bounded. It's restricted below, going below 0, comma, negative 4. So when you have an absolute min, it's bound, you, know, you, you know it's going to be bounded below. If you guys want to look at something that's bounded above, look no farther than a quadratic, like opening down. That is bounded above because it only goes so high. It only goes as high as the vertex, right? Which is actually, in this case, also a, an extrema. It's, act, it's also an absolute maximum, yes? Um, if you want something that is not bounded, look no farther than the cubic. Right? Do you guys see how that, this graph is not restricted on how high or low it is, right? It's unbounded. It has, it's unbounded. It's no bounds. Um, and then, obviously, guys, I could just like, what if I did this? Does this graph have a restriction on how high or low it is? Yeah, so this one would be what we call bounded. It's bounded above and bounded below. OK? All right. Um, the next one, MBA 